Whoever leaves the world, Allah will love him. Whoever leaves sins, surely the angels love him. And whoever cuts off the desires of what other Muslims have, surely the Muslims love him. Everything will perish. And the destruction of knowledge is forgetting that knowledge. The world is green and attracts people. Many people like it. Don't rely on the world. Don't trust it. Because the world is unbelievable. You know, the world doesn't leave anyone except those who leave it. If our hearts are pure, we will never be full. No boredom. Reading the verses of our Lord. And I really don't like a day when I don't see the mashaf of the Quran. Worrying about the world is darkness for the heart, while worrying about the afterlife is light for the heart. The highest degree of faith is that you always feel you are in the presence of Allah. When the Muslims are scattered, their faith will be torn apart and they will lose the strength of unity and oneness among them. Make a goal for life. Then use all your strength to achieve it, you will definitely succeed. Prayer is the best charity for humans. If he does well, then follow them. If he does it badly, then stay away from that bad thing. Among sinners, the worst is he who takes his time to discuss the faults of others. The three things that I love in this world are feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, and reading the Quran. When a person's tongue becomes calm and kind, then his heart becomes pious and clean. I do not consider you successful in any particular attainment until Allah tests you with his final trials. O servants of Allah, be careful. Help your leaders, advise them and don't mistreat them. Allah loves people who want to leave the world. Angels love people who want to leave their sins, and Muslims love people who are not greedy. Knowledge is better than wealth. Knowledge will protect you, while you must protect wealth. Avoid liquor, because it is the key to crime. No one hides a secret in his heart, unless Allah will show it on the look on his face or through the words that come out of his tongue. The silence of a silent person is more dangerous than the treatment of other people's attacks. Take wisdom and lessons from the stories of the past. Slipping of the tongue is more dangerous than slipping of the feet. The grave is the entrance to the afterlife as well as the exit to the world. The pleasures and torments there are no greater than those in the hereafter. You need an active leader more than a leader who often spit words. Do business, do business, with Allah SWT, surely you will get profit. If your heart is clean, then you will never feel full, bored, from reading the Quran. It is enough for you that people who are jealous of you feel depressed in your happy moments. We should. Keep boundaries, keep promises, be willing with what we have, and be patient with what we have lost. No one is able to take care of the problems of Muslims, except for people who have integrity, wisdom, are mature, and are experienced. I prefer to be killed before bloodshed occurs than after bloodshed. 
the sweetness of worship is obtained in four cases. First, in fulfilling the obligations of Allah. Second, in staying away from Allah's prohibitions. Third, in ordering goodness, Amar Marif, for seeking Allah's reward. Fourth, in preventing evil, Nahi Munkar, because it shields self and society from Allah's anger. Indeed, Allah created creatures with true rights, so do not speak except for the truth. Greet your death with the good deeds you can afford. Do not be negligent towards Allah because Allah is never negligent towards you. Enough advice of the wise men. Remember, those who are always with Allah cannot be afraid. On the other hand, the person who leaves Allah, to whom will he hope? Whoever does a particle's weight of good, surely he will see the reward. It may be that you hate something even though it is very good for you. It is also possible that you like something even though it is very bad for you. Allah knows, while you do not know. My sin weighs heavily on me. But when I measure it by your mercy, O oh Allah, your forgiveness is greater. Death doesn't wait until you will get better. Be a good person and wait for death. But those who are patient and forgive, in fact, deeds, like that are among the things that take precedence. And whoever puts all his trust in Allah, God, he will suffice them. Speak only when your words are more beautiful than silence. The heart becomes restless and restless when we are used to assuming in dealing with life's problems. This world is like a shadow. If you try to catch it, it will run away. But if you turn your back on it, it has no choice but to follow you. The richest person is the one who accepts the division, destiny, from Allah with pleasure. Whoever frees a believer from a worldly trouble, then Allah will free him from a difficulty on the day of judgment. You don't need money to help others. You just need a heart to help them. People who help widows and poor people are like people who are fighting jihad in the way of Allah. You have to appreciate the people who give you advice and invite you to goodness. They are actually the ones who push you to heaven. It doesn't matter that people don't notice the good you do, the affection or attention you give. The most important thing is that Allah notices it. Thanks for listening to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.